tequila shots today. I'm 51 years old, and I punish my kids for doing the things that I did on the radio years ago. Very difficult for me. It was easy when they were two and they had no idea. But now, you know, they're 20, 21, 22, 23 years old, soon to be. Um, and, you know, I'm just acting my age. Um, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I, to be honest with you, I think I get away with a hell of a lot more today than I ever did back then. Because sometimes you can do things you did back then and nobody bothers you today. Who would bother a 51-year-old? What's he going to do? I had no idea what to expect from Bill, and I had heard some interesting things about his previous show, and I was a little nervous to be a part of that. But after my first meeting with Bill, I went to dinner at his house. I was just incredibly impressed, not only by his commitment to this community, but by his family. And I'm proud to be a part of a show, and he sincerely cares about not only this community, but this little family that we have here now at WIBX. Um, I mean, uh, technically, Manaski's the boss. Did he, use, he did, did he use air quotes when he said technically that I'm his boss? I mean, it, really what, what this is, is, you know, you got a great talk show host here um, who knows what he's doing. And uh, really, I try to direct the station and do what's best for the station and the community. And uh, he, he knows where he's going, so I try to actually stay out of his way and, and assist or where I can. He's very good at, at asking people the right questions and, and getting the responses that people want to hear, or in some cases, the, the answers that people don't want to hear. But I think that's what really drives it, is, is Bill's talent, you know? It's the Keeler in the Morning Show. It's, it's, you know, he's got the reputation, and not only that, he's got the talent. And I think we're lucky, and you know, I'm not just saying this because I'm his producer, but I, you know, I think we're lucky here in Utica to still have Bill around here because he cares about this community and I think that uh, it shows, especially now with his latest tenure here at IBX, which is a lot longer than some people thought. This is, and I'm, I really mean this, it is the best team that I've, I think I've ever worked with in my life, except for my wife. Christine, Jeff, and Andrew, this is a major team effort every morning. If it's happening here, if people are talking about it, they want to know if you tune into this show, you know we're going to have somebody on the air to talk about it. And we're going to ask questions. We're going to be able to have a little longer interview than you normally would get somewhere else. And sometimes we're asking those tough questions of people that we like, and that is not fun. So we ask tough questions, and then I apologize later. You know, we're driven by what's going on locally. So I guess there is some advantage to that in that really... What is happening on a day-to-day -day basis really helps dictate the direction of the show. And I think we're all very honest. We give honest takes on what we see, what we think, what we know. It's all about Central New York, Utica, New York in particular, and providing the best product we can. On the show, sometimes we, we go back and forth, but that's just because we genuinely like each other. It's like a family environment. You come in and we have different perspectives. You know, I'm the young, unmarried, 25-year-old guy, and Christine's been in the business a while. She's got kids, and Jeff's a new dad, and Bill's, you know, Bill. So I think that coming from different walks of life and having different takes on certain things helps the show. I think when we first heard the news, we were all extremely excited because the truth of the matter is we've put a lot of hard work into the show, into WIBX. So, but, you know, with ratings, you just kind of take them with a grain of salt because here today, gone tomorrow. So we don't put much stock in the ratings, but I do have to admit that it did feel really good because you, you I'm lying. I actually cried when I found out about the ratings because I said, you know, four years of hard work and it finally has paid off. As I've said to my wife many times, it'll be gone tomorrow, so uh, enjoy it while you can. So, uh, you know, listen, we, I think as this radio station uh, works very hard to be involved in the community and we, whether it's the toy drive or the radiothon that's, that's coming up, and, uh, you know, I think it's, it's just cool that I have a place to work, I think, for me. I don't think ratings play any role in that. There's actually a place that I have that I can go to work every day. Now, there is a big shock. You could ask any of my teachers. This is what we 